come to synthesis of nucleic acids, if you want to use this sugar for the purpose of making RNA, then on R, this R, you have to attach OH. And the name of the sugar is therefore a ribose sugar. So we use a ribose sugar to make RNA. That's why the complete name is ribonucleic acid. And in the introduction, I told you that we use carbohydrates to make RNA and DNA. That's why you are seeing this ribo part, because the ribo part is coming from the ribose sugar, which is a carbohydrate. If you want to use this sugar for the purpose of making DNA, then on R, carbon number two, you don't put OH. You remove oxygen from OH so that it becomes H. You have deoxed. So the sugar is now deoxyribose sugar. That's why the complete name for DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. So I have described for you the sugar, the nitrogenous base, what is remaining is the phosphate. Remember, I said that its source is phosphoric acid. So phosphoric acid is the source. How does it look? So the structure of phosphoric acid is phosphate that bonded to oxygen we have OH there. That is phosphoric acid. And if you remember this, that we are equipped. Let us now look at the synthesis of nucleosides, nucleotides, and nucleic acids. So our first one is nucleosides. What did we say? It has only a sugar plus a base. There is no phosphate. What does it mean? Let us draw. Since we know, let us draw them. It means that you're going to have a sugar. We are putting R there on carbon number two. And here we know that it's CH2OH on carbon number five, H. OH, H. OH, H, H. What I've drawn there is a sugar. What is the name of the sugar? The name of the sugar is a pentose sugar. I've not specified whether it's deoxyribose or ribose because I've put R there. When you have this pentose sugar, to make a nucleoside, you need to attach a base, and the base reacts on carbon number one. We are saying this base can be of two types. It can be a purine, or you can have a pyrimidine. We can even abbreviate them. Purines examples, adenine, guanine. Pyrimidines examples, cytoside, thiamine, Duracil. So when you have the bases like this, any of the bases, when it comes, what it does is that that hydrogen is lost and the base attaches there. So here I'll write base. The moment you attach a base on carbon number one to this pentose sugar, the structure you have formed is what we call a nucleoside. How do you proceed from a nucleoside to a nucleotide? All you do is get the structure
what is this structure? We've already attached a base. There is R, O, H, 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 H. When you get a nucleoside, if you want to transform this nucleoside into a nucleotide, all you do is react phosphoric acid. And remember, I told you it gets deprotonated. So, this phosphoric acid donates OH and gets H from the OH on carbon number 5 here. And when you do that, you liberate water. So, when this water, water, I mean OH plus H, what happens is that water comes out. When that water comes out, when the water comes out, what you have now is a situation where this P is bonded to that oxygen there. The moment you bond the phosphate part, because from phosphoric acid, this is a phosphate. The moment you have a phosphate and you have a sugar and you have a base, then this structure is what we are calling a nucleotide. And this structure you are seeing here, this one, is what we use as a building block of nucleic acids. What are those? DNA or RNA. In short, for you to make DNA and RNA, the building blocks, the monomers, are nucleotides. What is the structure? It is made up of a phosphate bonded to a sugar and the base. Now, what are the important things that I want you to capture about this structure? For a phosphate, let us start with a phosphate. You can decide to attach one phosphate. You can decide to attach two or three. When you attach one, we call it monophosphate. You attach two, diphosphate. You attach three, triphosphate. That is here. Now someone will ask to say, how do you attach three? So, if this is the structure, and you have attached a base. R, H, O, H, 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 and here C, H, 2, O. Sometimes, we don't like wasting time by drawing phosphoric acid incomplete. All we do is, you just put a P and circle it. That means you've attached a phosphate. So, when you attach one, monophosphate. Just do this and attach another one, diphosphate. Do this and attach another one, triphosphate. Number two, let us go to the sugar. What did I say about the sugar? If on couple number two, you put OH, then the name of the sugar is a ribose sugar, which is used to make RNA. That is here on couple number two. If on couple number two, you attach H, then the name of the sugar is deoxyribose. And you are using it to make DNA. That's all. Let us go to a base. This part. So for a base, you can decide to attach adenine, guanine, cytosine, thiamine, or uracil. But what should you not? We only use uracil, only in RNA. So uracil as a base can only be used when you are making RNA. Thiamine can only be used when you are making DNA. But the other three could be used in both DNA and RNA. Where do they attach? I showed you. Carbon number one, a base attaches there. So, when you attach adenine there, 
it changes name and becomes adenosine. When you attach guanine, guanosine. When you attach cytosine, cytidine. When you attach thiamine, thimidine. And when you attach uracil, uridine. So take note. Now, for us to understand this nicely, I want you to focus on the structure here. This structure, when you look at this structure here, how many phosphates did I attach? There are actually three phosphates. What is the name given to three phosphates? Triphosphate. Let's imagine I attach the base A. What is A? A we know is adenine. And when it attaches there, what name does it assume? Adenosine. So, the structure on the board here, the structure on the board here, due to the fact that it is made up of three phosphates, which we said we call them triphosphate, and adenine attached, which we said becomes adenosine. The complete name of this nucleotide here on the board, the complete name is therefore adenosine, because it is adenine, it becomes adenosine. Then because there are three phosphates, triphosphates. Who can tell me what is the short form of adenosine triphosphate? That is the one we call ATP. So the structure you are seeing on the board is the structure of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, because there is adenine attached and it has three phosphates. What happens when you remove one phosphate? There it becomes two. When you have two phosphates, it's adenosine diphosphate. One phosphate, adenosine monophosphate. 